Hey guys, it's Rook, and welcome to a different video to normal. It's actually going to be a tutorial on Source Filmmaker, yeah, Source Filmmaker, which I'm still pretty new to, but whatever. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna. It'll be. This is the opening screen thing of stuff. This when you're making a new session, this is all you need to worry about. So I'm just gonna name mine tutorial. <sighs> Shoot, Oreo. There we go, and. Yeah, directory and frame rate and stuff. Which I don't really need to tell you. You need to decide on that yourself. Then you'll create it, and you'll have all of this with your timeline and your shot, your viewport. You might have it set up differently, but this is how I like it because it works for posters and um, videos as well. So I'll just put it in full screen. Now you're going to want to right-click and then select Load Map, and then you'll uh, we'll go with we'll go with High Tower. So you search in high tower, there it comes up, and you just double click. Loading map takes quite a while, so I'm going to cut this out and then I'll uh, get back to it when I'm on. Okay, so now we're on high tower and we've got our camera. Now to move about, you just literally click on your viewport and then you can move about with your mouse and then use the WASD keys and controls go slower, shifts go faster. So just kind of basic controls and stuff. And also, if you want, you can rotate camera by holding R and then moving the mouse around. And scroll wheel, zoom in and out. Now we're gonna want to find a place on the map where we can make our picture. So we'll we'll do it on like the sniper battlements right here. And we're just gonna want to pose. And then you go press on the little arrow, change scene camera, new camera. There we go. And we'll rotate it a bit, maybe like that, and zoom in. Okay. Now you come over to the animation set editor and you go right click create animation set for new model and then it, it'll, this screen will come up and in the bottom here you'll want to type hwm backslash and I've got some workshop stuff but we're going to go with a what should we go with let's go with like a demo a a, a demo there we go Sometimes SFM can be pretty laggy. And then if you click on here, it will swap you between your camera and your work camera. So we're just going to straighten up our work camera. Now, moving is can be hard at times, but kind of depends what you're doing. So you click on down here at the timeline. You click on Motion Editor, or you can press F3. And you come on here. You select this one. Hold Control, and then select Root Transform. And then you uh, hold on to this box with left click, and then when you press shift, it will automatically snap them to the floor. So we're going to move him over to here. We're just going to, if you hold shift as well, you're moving about the floor. And here we go. Now we'll just move the camera to like here. There we go. Awesome. And now we're going to want to just do some basic posing. This doesn't actually. Involve, involve any kind of manual posing, this is all presets. So you're going to want to right click on the demo, go import sequence, and now you'll have this menu which you can scroll to the top and then you can go through with the up and down arrows if you click on it and then you can go through and select a pose. So we're actually going to go with one of the standing ones which are all the way down, all the way down to S stand. So we can have him holding a sword, or we can have him standing as he doesn't lose, lo ah, losing time, victory time when you've lost whatever. But we'll just have him standing holding a primary. So we'll open. There we go. So now we've got our pose. Now we just need to add items. So to do that, thank God for the new update because it was awful before. We go right click on demo in the animation set editor. And then add Team Fortress item. And then in here we can choose our items. So we'll go Grenade Launcher. And then you press OK. And oh god, what happened? <laughs> OK, Grenade Launcher is broken. So we'll try something else. So we'll go Add Team Fortress and we'll go Lock. Lock and Load. Is this still. Is this broken? Yep, yeah, that's also broken. Uh, um, I'm not sure what's going on, but we're going to change the sequence. To 
if we go down. Item 1, we'll have him just holding a sword. Hopefully this won't be broken. Now we're going to come back a bit so we can fit the whole sword in. And we'll go, we'll go with the half the Toichi. Okay, there we go. That's not broken and we're actually going to move the position around because you can't really see the sword like that. So now we've got this. We've got a demo standing on the battlements holding a sword just to the right of the screen because I like having this blank space on the left if someone wants to set it as their like uh, wallpaper and then they've got all their icons here. But that's, ju that's just me. You don't have to do this. Um, and then we're going to add some hats. So we'll go with the samurai. Wait. Sam. Samurai. And we'll go with the bushy dog. There we go. Just the same as you'd add a weapon. And that's on there now. And if you come out here, you can see we've got our samurai demo just standing there. But it, his face, he doesn't look very happy. <laughs> so we're just going to come here. And if you click on here, you can go through the priest. Well, you can do that as well. And then this gives you all the face options on this bit. You can go through the presets of the uh, face poses. So we'll just go with like a smile. There we go. We just slide that across. Now our demo is uh, samurai smiling. You want to kind of get that uh, smile on there. So now if you click on here, because the picture won't be rendered as it is here, but if you click on the uh, on the timeline here, this is how it will be rendered. It doesn't make much of a difference here, but when you're doing other presets, it will have blur, which, are re which is really annoying. Now, we want to add an unusual effect to this, because we're, we're pretty cool. Pretty cool like that. So we're going to go right-click again, and then this time, create animation set for new particle systems. Uh, now, for this, we will actually need a mod that I have installed. I'll put that in the description. And you just go into user mod, particles, and it will be downloaded in there. You select it. And then here in the drop down box, you can select any of the uh, unusual effects. So we'll go with, let's see what there is. Disco beatdown. And then you'll go 0, 99, 99. Okay, now, this is the weird bit, kind of. So you select, you open down all the drop down boxes on the hat that you want to put it on. And then you do, you open down all the drop down boxes on here. And you put uh, bip head, bip underscore head, into transform of the effect. Now you click on here and you just drag zero all the way across. So now if you come off of here and then back on and you play, you've got the uh, unusual effect there. So that's it's actually pretty easy and now you're going to want to find a position where the unusual effect looks cool. So about there maybe. Yeah that's pretty cool. So we've got our demo standing there it's got his unusual effect. And you can actually see here how it changed from here to here because it's got it's a bit more blurry. The effect. Now it won't it won't be rendered like this. It will actually be rendered like that. So that's how I preview it. Now we're gonna actually want to add some light just for you know demonstration. That's not what I meant to do. So you right click on here and you do go create animation set for new light. Same way you did particle system and model. Now, if you hold control, you can actually see this is the light here that's just been created. Or, if I unselect it, you can click on the light in the animation set editor and it'll select it automatically. Now, you're going to want to use, rather than this, which you can use, this uh, thing, I'm going to use this, so the, um, the move tool. Now, I'm just going to move it to the right and then use the rotate tool to rotate it towards the demo man. So now if we come in here we can see we've got the light on him. Now here in the same place you just change the face you change the intensity by dragging and the color which is here color red and you can change the color of the light so maybe if we wanted it green or if we just didn't want the light at all which wouldn't make sense because we just added it. Now I think that looks quite cool that kind of light. Now we'll change the intensity to where it looks quite nice, so it's just kind of shining off of the shorts, uh, the sword and the helmet. See, I quite like that. Now, if we preview it, it looks quite nice. So, um, if we want, we could actually add 
like an item in the background, like we go new model, and we could look for I don't know coffee machine, <laughs> and we could put this in the background the same way you'd put a player around. So you just move it into the back, and then look, we got a coffee machine in the background. Isn't that nice? But we don't want that there because it doesn't look it looks out of place. So I think. This works, you know, this is quite a nice background, didn't take me that long to do either, but this is just the basics. Hopefully I'll be doing a tutorial in the future of like custom posing and other stuff, adding uh, eye effects, this kill streak of maybe adding dead body, dead bodies and blood splatter and things like that. So now you're going to want to go file, export and poster, save. Now you, go, you choose um, JPEG or PNG depending on which one you want to use and then you choose your file directory up here just the same way as normal and then you press export poster and it'll it can take a while to uh, export sometimes depending on what you've done but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one goodbye